on May 30th, 2020, a new chapter in space exploration began as the Crew Dragon embarked on its historic mission, becoming the first American spacecraft to carry astronauts to orbit since the retirement of the Space Shuttle in 2011, and also marking the debut of a privately made spacecraft at the International Space Station. The Crew Dragon set the stage for a new era of space travel. Since then, this remarkable vehicle has ferried 49 astronauts, including one who flew twice on 13 missions. Nine of them commissioned by NASA and four undertaken for private enterprises. But what exactly is life like inside the SpaceX Dragon capsule? Welcome to the dawn of a new era in space travel, where reaching the stars has never been more accessible, convenient or cost-effective. Forget about mere hops over technicalities, we're talking about venturing into real space, into orbit, aboard our trusty chariot to the gods, the SpaceX Dragon capsule. This revolutionary spacecraft harks back to the earliest days of SpaceX, evolving alongside the iconic Falcon 9 rocket. The initial iteration, Dragon version 1, took flight in 2010, serving as a reliable supply ship for the International Space Station, ISS, with 23 successful cargo missions spanning a decade. Building upon this proven success, SpaceX introduced Dragon 2 in 2014, with support from NASA's commercial crew program. Dragon 2 made its maiden voyage in 2019, and on May 30th, 2020, it etched its name in history as the first American rocket to ferry a crew into orbit since the Space Shuttle era. Notably, Dragon marked the resurgence of crew-rated spacecraft crafted in the United States since the legendary Apollo program offering a much-needed upgrade from the cramped industrial confines of its predecessors. Stepping inside Dragon, astronauts are greeted by a sleek and modern interior, a far cry from the cluttered dashboards of yesteryear. The capsule boasts ample space, with 9.3 cubic meters of pressurized volume comfortably accommodating a crew of four. Gone are the days of analog controls. Dragon operates fully autonomously, with a simple layout of three large touchscreen monitors for crew interaction. Externally, the capsule is a marvel of engineering, with a smooth SpaceX white exterior, punctuated only by a few windows and thruster ports. Propulsion is facilitated by Draco thrusters, strategically positioned around the capsule for precise maneuvering. While the powerful Super Draco engines, concealed within four ridges, stand ready as abort system engines, ensuring crew safety in the event of an emergency. As we prepare for launch, Dragon's trunk section, serving as both a power source and cargo storage, is fitted with aerodynamic fins to stabilize the capsule during atmospheric flight. While the original plan for propulsive landings was shelved in favor of parachute-assisted ocean landings, Dragon remains at the forefront of innovation in space travel, embodying the spirit of exploration and pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity. As we prepare for our journey into the unknown, each member of the SpaceX crew is outfitted with a custom-tailored pressure suit and a meticulously crafted 3D-printed helmet. These suits are not just for show. They are designed to ensure the comfort and safety of our astronauts even in the harsh conditions of outer space. Ensuring that the interior of the suit maintains Earth-like conditions, including breathable air, stable temperatures, and crucially, atmospheric pressure comparable to that of Earth's sea level is paramount. This ensures that our crew members can breathe freely and comfortably throughout their mission. While the prospect of a pressure loss in space is a worst-case scenario we hope to avoid, it's essential to be prepared. A decrease in ambient pressure can lead to dangerous consequences, such as the boiling point of water dropping and even the vaporization of blood within the body. Therefore, maintaining a stable pressure environment within the suite is critical for our astronauts' well-being. Unlike traditional flight suits, which were often bulky and modular, the SpaceX pressure suit is a single, seamless piece, thin, yet flexible. This design not only provides enhanced mobility, but also streamlines the suiting up process. With a simple unzip at the seam of the pants, astronauts can effortlessly slip into their suits from the bottom, ensuring a snug and secure fit for their journey beyond the bounds of Earth's atmosphere. Throughout the history of human spaceflight, the concept of using the restroom in space has evolved significantly, offering astronauts a more dignified experience. In the early days, astronauts like Alan Shepard, the first American in space, faced challenges such as having to urinate in their own suits. Subsequent solutions included using tubes, primarily designed for male astronauts, and later sacks for waste disposal as missions extended in duration. 
Today, modern space toilets represent a far cry from these early methods. Vacuum suction-powered toilets, initially introduced on the Space Shuttle and subsequently utilized on the International Space Station ISS, have become standard equipment even aboard the SpaceX Dragon capsule. Positioned just above the side door, discreetly tucked into an alcove in the ceiling from the crew's perspective, these toilets are equipped with fans, valves, suction hoses, dehumidifiers, and storage tanks, ensuring efficient waste management in microgravity environments. Despite the advancements, the zero-gravity environment of space can have immediate and unpredictable effects on the body, prompting astronauts to utilize the space toilet within a couple of hours into the flight. To maintain privacy, astronauts are provided with curtains, ensuring a semblance of comfort and dignity during their time in space. As the countdown to our voyage into the cosmos begins, meticulous preparations ensure the safety and readiness of the crew, with communication systems and vital signs monitoring integrated into our flight helmets. Every aspect of our journey is carefully monitored and controlled. Three hours prior to launch, the crew assembles at the NASA Space Flight Center, where we undergo final technical briefings to ensure we're fully prepared for the upcoming mission. Clad in our sleek flight suits, we're then transported to the launch site in a fleet of Tesla Model X SUVs, effortlessly navigating through the Falcon Wing side doors. As the countdown reaches a critical phase, one of the few operations that must be executed from within the Dragon capsule is the activation of the launch escape system. This entails priming the hypergolic fuel tanks for the Super Draco engines, which stand ready to propel the capsule away from the Falcon 9 booster in the event of an anomaly. With each engine capable of producing up to 16,000 pounds of thrust per nozzle in a fraction of a second, the Dragon swiftly distances itself from the rocket, hurtling half a mile in just seven seconds. Following this pivotal maneuver, attention turns to the propellant loading of the Falcon 9. Uniquely for SpaceX, this process occurs with the crew on board, offering a first-hand experience of the rocket's preparation. From within the capsule, the crew can hear the valves opening and the ultra-chilled propellant flowing through the rocket, characterized by a fluttering sound and low hum. As the countdown progresses, the crew monitors crucial data on three display screens, receiving real-time updates on the rocket's status and flight plan. Then, with the final countdown underway, liftoff commences. With the nine Merlin engines propelling the Falcon 9 with approximately 1.8 million pounds of thrust, within 30 seconds, the rocket surpasses speeds of 500 kilometers per hour and an altitude of two kilometers above sea level, breaking the sound barrier and reaching supersonic speed. Around two minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, the booster engines cut off, initiating first stage separation. By this point, the rocket is traveling at over 6,000 kilometers per hour and an altitude exceeding 80 kilometers. The upper stage vacuum engine ignites to propel the capsule toward orbital velocity. Approximately nine minutes into the flight, as the rocket reaches speeds of 27,000 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 200 kilometers, the second engine completes its task and the crew experiences weightlessness. At around 12 minutes, the second stage separates from the Dragon capsule, leaving it to coast in space. Once the journey to orbit is complete, approximately 15 minutes after liftoff, the crew can release their visors and unbuckle from their seats, transitioning to a free-floating state within the capsule. With the most perilous phase of the mission behind them, they await the next steps, whether rendezvousing with the ISS or embarking on a pleasure cruise through low Earth orbit. After completing our mission aboard the International Space Station or enjoying a brief stint as space tourists, it's time to make our descent back to Earth. Seven potential landing sites along the Florida coast spanning the Gulf of Mexico to the open Atlantic Ocean await our return. The ground crew selects the most optimal site based on weather conditions and safety considerations. At Mission Control, the SpaceX team orchestrates the gradual adjustment of the Dragon's orbit, steadily lowering the perigee until the capsule is on course for re-entry. As we prepare for this perilous phase, we don our suits, lower our visors and secure ourselves for the journey ahead. Upon confirmation that all systems are ready, the Dragon capsule separates from the trunk module and the Draco thrusters orient the heat shield downward, setting the final approach angle. Despite the intense re-entry process where communication is temporarily lost for seven minutes, the capsule remains at a comfortable temperature inside, thanks to the cooled air circulated through the flight suits. As the Dragon hurtles through Earth's atmosphere at approximately 28,000 km per hour, the ablative heat shield absorbs and dissipates the intense heat generated, 
protecting the capsule and its occupants. Once the fiery descent subsides, communication is restored and the ground crew signals the deployment of the parachutes. The initial slowdown is achieved with two drogue chutes, followed by the deployment of four main chutes, bringing the Dragon's speed down to just 24 km per hour before splashdown. Upon landing in the water, a SpaceX crew aboard a recovery ship swiftly retrieves the capsule, assisting the crew as they exit the charred yet safe interior. Before disembarking, precautions are taken to seal the Draco thruster nozzles to prevent exposure to toxic hypergolic fuel residues. Once deemed safe, the crew emerges from the capsule, possibly requiring assistance depending on the duration of their space journey. With this successful return, the Dragon capsule undergoes thorough refurbishment, preparing for its next adventure beyond the bounds of Earth's atmosphere.